If the world was made up of dessert, I would imagine our snow-capped mountains to be gigantic cinnamon rolls whose fragrance stretches miles away. Did you like that? Well, I should let you know that I'm doing this in conjunction with my LCIF challenge. So here's a little disclaimer. To make this LCIF challenge more meaningful, I would be launching a complimentary series alongside with it. It's called PSN Feature, where we would give a spotlight to those deserving food businesses that started during the quarantine. Every week, I will be ordering delicious, carb-rich foods from them for the duration of this challenge. I hope you know where I'm going with this, but as you all know, I am allowed to have a cheat day if and only if I can achieve my end-of-week weight goals. If I do, then I can enjoy these foods without any restrictions. Otherwise, I'll have the rest of my household review the food for me. I came up with this to support home-based businesses so that our economy could continue with little to no physical contact. As for logistics, it's still the same as the lasagna video, so if you would like more details, you can check that specific video out. Again, Wella messaged me the moment these came out in the oven, and less than an hour later, I got the delivery. The food was packaged in an eco-friendly bag like before, and inside is the box with the label. And what caught my eye is this beautiful silver elastic. I can't help myself, I just had to take a close-up shot, so here it is. You have to agree that it's both beautiful and functional, is it not? Anyway, I was able to remove the elastic quite easily, but the same cannot be said for the label. That's why I had to tear it apart. <laughs> not the prettiest way to open it. But anyway, what's inside is what's important, and the smell that comes out of these things, it's heavenly. And now, for the taste test. My dad actually stayed in for the night because of the gloomy weather. So he is taking back half of these cinnamon rolls to Cavite so the rest of my family members can have a bite. Hindi naman masyado matamis. Tsaka creamy siya. Ano yung pinaka nagustuhan mo? Yung creaminess. Tsaka yung texture nung ano, bread. May chocolate ba siya? Parang may chocolate. Yung itsura niya. Ano yun eh, cinnamon sprinkle yun eh. Sige, sige. Mmm. Sarap. Mas masarap pa sa cinnamon. Ano yung pinaka nagustuhan mo sa kanya? Para mineral sa anak kong maasim. Siguro yun yung cream cheese. Kung may cream cheese man to. Feeling ko ano, may halong cream cheese yung place. Kaya hindi Medyo ano, lang. ano tart. Medyo maasim. Pero masarap. Ang sarap naman nito, tamis. Matam sobrang tamis. Katamtaman lang. Ano yung nagustuhan mo sa kanya? Ay yung ano niya, yung cream, yung parang cream na puti, tsaka yung chocolate. Hmm. Hindi naman siya sobrang tamis. Hindi, hindi, hindi naman. lang tamis yung Nag-agaw yung uh, parang maasim-asim. Oo, oh, yun yung keso. Hmm. Eh, yung tinapay. Okay lang. Malambot. Hmm. Masarap kuya. <coughs> Masarap! Taste this! How do you like it? Wow! wow. Yummy! Oh, yeah. One more, one more. Ito na! Ito na! Ito na! Ito na! Ito na! And as for me, my LCIF week has been successful again, so I am having a bite of this. 
this is actually what I've been waiting for. I haven't had cinnamon rolls in a while, so bon appetit. Mmm. Mmm. Okay. There is a slight um, crisp or crunch. I'm not sure how to describe it. There is a like a crusty surface, like the outer shell that I like. I'm assuming it's because of the glaze. And then as soon as your teeth breaks into that glaze, you would encounter the very soft, fluffy bread. And other cinnamon rolls would just punch you in the face with sweetness, but this one does not. I am guessing that the glaze has cream cheese in it. That's why it's not pure sweetness. It's quite sophisticated, actually. And the smell, if this tastes good, it smells even better, I am telling you. Mm -mm. It looks like it has chocolate. So let me try to capture that. It looks like it has chocolate, but who knows? I I'm gonna ask Bella about it. Mm. This is the best cinnamon roll that I've ever had. So sophisticated, not just uh, sweetness. You can follow The Yellow Table Kitchen on Instagram. That's Z underscore Yellow Table Kitchen. One word, no spaces, all small letters. I love how this series gives me something to look forward to at the end of the week and serves as a source of motivation for me to achieve my LCIF challenge goals. And I honestly would never forgive myself if I wasn't able to take a bite of that lasagna or the cinnamon rolls because I failed the challenge, if you know what I mean. But anyway, that wraps up our video. If you like it, go ahead, give it a thumbs up. Let me know what you think in the comments. And if you're interested in seeing more content like this, go ahead and hit that subscribe button as well as the notification bell so you're always updated whenever I upload new content. Thanks for watching and have a great day.